Maceration is a fermentation technique used in red wine making in which the grape skins and seeds are kept in contact with the juice. The purpose of maceration is to extract phenolics from the skins and seeds into the juice. These extracted phenolic compounds include anthocyanins and tannins, which are responsible for color and mouthfeel, respectively. Our study will investigate how maceration conditions, namely the quantity of skins and seeds present, impact the eventual mouthfeel of the wine, with tannin level determining the mouthfeel. Three conditions will be tested, high skin contact, normal skin contact, and no skins. The first step in red winemaking is to crush and destem the fruit. Destemming removes the ragus from the berries, whereas crushing crushes the grapes so as to begin the release of juice. We used a combined crusher destemmer for this step. and then transferred two of our lots into tanks directly. The no skins lot was treated as a rosé and pressed immediately in the basket press. This juice was then transferred to a tank. The skins from the no skin lot were then transferred into one of the previous two lots, thereby creating a high skin lot. Sulfur dioxide was added at the beginning of the fermentation to minimize microbial growth and prevent oxidation. Later, the tanks were inoculated with Rhone 2226 yeast. This yeast strain is a fast fermenter that requires lots of nutrients. Due to the high nutrient requirements, Vermade K was added at the start of the fermentation. Anticipating a very low yan level, nitrogen in the form of DAP was added just in case several days later. The two tanks with skins were punched down twice daily and bricks and temperature readings were taken to ensure that fermentation was proceeding smoothly. The tank without skins was left alone with occasional inspections to ensure that nothing was amiss. Midway through fermentation, a chunky brown film developed on the tank without skins. An attempt was made to skim this off, but it returned later. This indicates that the cause of the film may be microbial in origin. The tanks containing skins were pressed after fermentation was completed. A basket press was used to press the skins and produce a press fraction. Once pressing was complete, the free run wine and pressed wine were reunited. A sample was sent to ETS for testing TA, pH, and free SO2. Then SO2 was added at the end to microbially stabilize the wine. After pressing, wine dryness was confirmed using clinitest tablets, and film in the no skin tank disappeared. Once all of this was done, the wine was racked off the lees to get rid of the sediments. Lastly, the tanks were then set to zero degrees Celsius to cold stabilize the wine. The goal of this experiment was to compare the color extraction and astringency associated with varying levels of skin used in maceration. Wine color is associated with the amount of time that must is left in contact with skins. With that being said, the tank without skins was the lightest in color, whereas the tanks with skins had a darker color. However, the color variation within the two tanks with skins was minimal. This was not initially expected, but after researching maceration, both tanks may have reached maximum anthocyanin extraction, resulting in no difference in color. The no skins wine was fruitier while the other two had more oxidized and unripe aromas. These undesired aromas most likely came from macerating with unideal grapes. There seemed to be little difference in mouthfeel between all three tanks, 